all fresh, didn't drink too much yesterday, everybody went to bed on time, woke up on time. I see some fresh faces, that's good. So, a uh, small opening uh, talk today, just to give you some heads up. Uh, as I did yesterday during the intro, um, as, as I actually said during the intro as well, that by creating a list of people, you're bound to forget somebody. And obviously we forgot somebody yesterday, mentioning, giving an explanation that he has actually has done a lot for Brucon. I guess he's most he's known by most people. It's called he's called Wim. He's actually been part of uh, Brucon for I guess somewhat of the beginning already. He's been an essential part in the sense that he's always been able to hook us up with good speakers, be able to get in contact with the InfoSec community. He knows people all around the world, and actually we forgot to mention him yesterday. So we just wanted to have one dedicated slide for Wim alone. So there he is. We have some more people we forgot. Those guys really organize all the workshops. So if you're at Novotel going any workshops, it's one of these guys together with Philip Theben who uh, yeah, take care of everything over there. We're currently also running a challenge. One of our crew members, look at the guy's epic beard. He's raising money for cyber school. So our kids conference where we teach kids from 7 to 50 in some cyber skills. Uh, if we raise 666.66 euros, he's going to shave his beard. We have people who don't want him to shave the beard, so for that we have a second box, save the beard. So that money will subtract from the money we have for shaving the beard. So if you want to help cyber school out, if you want to see that guy's baby face without a beard, come donate at the registration desk. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Your badges. I hope you guys all charged your badges last night. If you did, in about half an hour, you can go to the ICS village and we'll put the firmware on your badges. You'll have nice functionality, very useful during the party tonight. The orange thing is an alcohol sensor, so you will know your drunkenness level. We currently have our firmware version, drunkenness.0.9991 delta. So please go ahead, should be working. Once the firmware is on there, the batch will be booting. Don't press the buttons until you see uh, getting scat on there. So before it's calibrating all the sensors, if you're resetting it, it's just gonna take way longer. So we actually have two CTFs going on. Um, we'll have our Brucon CTF, which you'll find on the balcony when you go out this room to the right, up the stairs. Um, and then we have another CTF going on in the ICS village. Uh, so that's the room next to this one. Uh, here you'll see some of the prizes which you can win. Uh, some of them are from Pentester Academy. We also have uh, quite some uh, stuff from uh, No Starch Press. So do walk into the CTF, participate, and perhaps you'll be one of the lucky winners. Then. Essentially, this was uh, the party. So for the party tonight, if you have your badge updated, it's also obviously on the SCAT website, uh, you'll find the location of the party. It's on a boat. So if you find that the address, the address might be odd, well, it is actually. So this is where you'll find it. Uh, make sure that you get there on time. It's all on the schedule, so you know where to find it at least with the address. Um, and that's about it for the party, I guess. So. Um, I asked Harun how I uh, actually should uh, introduce him. We were thinking about the fabulous, the well-known and whatever, but if eventually just we stick with the fact that I should uh, uh, introduce him just as Harun. So I'll bring you your keynote speaker today. Here you go.